So at this point in this video, the 1977 2J swapped Celica, every single thing that needs to go orange will be painted. I'm talking about the front lip, front bumper, fender flares, rear bumper, rear wing, and the entire car. And I cannot wait to show you this color and how it's going to turn out. And now, you're watching the loophole that is linking a Visa prepaid card to an OnlyFans account so that way your girl doesn't find out channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome and thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. So I just want to get it rolling and start painting. I already did all the prep work, all that boring stuff with this car. It has been a long road to get to this point and let's just start painting, man. Gotta do it. Gotta do it now. So now that all of those pieces are painted and they look oh so phenomenal, I couldn't be more excited with them. We want to turn our attention to the car itself. I threw those pieces, since my shop is kind of small, I actually have those pieces in my little office room, so. We got car parts in the house again, babe. You know how it goes. Anyways, we want to turn our attention to the car. So the car, I need to finish it off with a 600 grit sandpaper finish. Now. When you're working on a project, however you want to get there is up to you. I wouldn't step it down to anything less than a 220, 320. But with my primer and everything, it's all pretty smooth. So I'm just going to hit it with a 400 and then go to the 600. Now you also got to keep in mind about what's going to be fastest in the end. Now I am going over the entire car with two different grits, but if I spend an hour with 400 and then an hour with 600, that's a lot better than just using 600 off rip and spending three hours as opposed to two hours. So something you gotta think about, let's just get the car masked off and ready for paint.
so now we got the car. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's 100% prepped and ready to go. I want to briefly talk about the paint. I know in my last video I spoke about it just a little bit and I don't want to overbore you with the paint and what I'm going to be doing. But the process is going to be white sealer. Then I'm going to be doing my orange base coat. And since this is a tri-coat paint system, I'm going to be doing an additional pearl coat in between the orange base and the clear coat. So that makes the tri-coat system because we have the orange, the pearls, and then the clear. Those three coats make up the three steps of the tri-coat. And let's just get this thing sprayed, man. It is time. I'm hyped, dude. Oh man, dude, the car. You see how good this thing looks, dude? A lot of work has gone into it to get it to this point and we are coming to the end. That paint laid down, it wasn't my best, but it wasn't my worst and that's what I wanna shoot for. Everything looks really good now with all of those layers. Every single additional layer that you do is an opportunity for dust to get into the air, for your paint to get a little rough, for your paint to get a little inconsistent. So with this car, I'm going to be wet sanding and buffing the good majority of it just to make it look that much better. I think the car deserves it. The amount of time and energy that I put into this car, I want it to look as good as possible. So in the last clip, or maybe the next clip, you might see a couple little dust specks here and there, but that happens. Even in a paint booth, stuff like that happens. I know some people suggest that you wet the floor to prevent some dust. What I found, and this is just personal preference, I don't like it when my hose on my paint gun is dragging across a wet floor and then as I'm moving around, there's water. Just a personal preference, I like to do it this way. Let's take a closer look at this car, man. This thing 
phenomenal. Dude, so with this car, one thing that I gotta remind myself is to not get down on the little imperfections that are in the paint job because no paint job is perfect even in a booth. So if you're doing a car, you gotta look at it in the same way. A couple little gnats landed in the paint. I'm going to try to sand those out to the best of my ability and I'm sure they're going to look fine. So like I said, I'm going to be wet sanding and buffing the entire car just to make it look that much better. And going back to those negatives, if you focus on those negatives, you're gonna get down on yourself. But with me, with this car, just looking at it, looking at how excellent the body looks, this car was so challenging, it has by far been the most amount of body work that I've ever done on a vehicle, but it's made me improve my body work skills by quite a bit. So I'm just looking at the positive. It's all positive from here. So this video, we got the dog wanting to play fetch. Come on, look. She wants me to, she wants me to throw it out into the yard. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, this is the second to last video in this series. The next video will be the final video where we wrap it up, wet sand, buff, do all of that fun stuff, and that'll be in the next one, that'll be in the final one. Then after that video, we have another project that we are going to move right into, and it's a prop, and it's a project that I'm looking forward to doing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like this video, comment, subscribe, check out all the links, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I'll see you on the next one. I know you'll be there, man. I'm out.